Hello, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you Windows 10 Build 10240, and I actually put it on my main computer, so I'm going to be showing you it, because I know tomorrow is July 29th, so today's the 28th, so they're going to have the final version tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the final version through Windows Update tomorrow on here. So I went ahead and upgraded this just to play around with it so I can have it before then. And it took me a while. I was supposed to make this video earlier, but my screen recorder refused to work. So um, apparently running it as an administrator fixed the problem. How silly. So anyways, though, I'm going to be showing you a tour. So this is the start menu. Now I customized it to my, my liking. Um, this is how I customized it. I have my screen recorder there. I need to put it back because I had to keep messing with it to try to get it to work. So, um, you can see it shows the most used still. You can still go to all apps. And you can still see all the apps on here. And just browse through. Um, if you also notice here, um, you got your power toggles. Um, you also got your settings. So here I can go in the system settings. Like for example, I can do some personalization in here and well you're not you're probably wondering how to make it like that color you have to go here and tell it to show that color everywhere um and you can make it transparent or not so you can i'm just going to turn it off actually for now because sometimes i don't like it because normally this would be transparent but i turned it off right there but actually i think i liked it better when it was transparent so oh yeah you can do the theme settings let me see it's on my second monitor um, I noticed you can't really edit the themes anymore like you could in Windows 7. So my older themes, I can't edit them, which kind of stinks. I kind of don't like that, but maybe in the final version that you can. Um, do the mouse pointer settings, and you could change it. Like, I'm going to make mine the bigger one, because I like, I like the bigger mouse. Um, so you could see, you can change the wallpaper. This is a customized Windows 10 wallpaper I found somewhere. But also on these themes, window, there's a Windows 10 theme and the flowers I see and then the regular Windows which has the same one except it, the mine's a little bit different. So you can see you can do the lock screen and colors and star and you can change all these cool settings and there's so many other settings like if I go here see if there's like any updates or whatever. It's up to date it says. So um, go back to system, you can change a bunch of settings, even a, a battery saver mode, kind of cool, um, and all these just really cool settings you can change, and I've noticed there's Microsoft Edge, which is really cool, actually, and, like, I can go to, like, Google, um, see, and see how I'm on, like, Google, and the cool thing, this little button right here, you can make a web note here and you can like draw on the screen and make your own note which is kind of cool um let's just make that kind of kind of too big like i could do this and be and then i can like draw on it wow light blue my favorite color um i'm gonna exit that but you can do stuff like that and actually draw on the web page and save it i think in your little web notes thing i'm not sure i've never really done it and I, I like Microsoft Edge, but one thing I noticed when I on my website, because I have a website, I don't know if you guys know that, um, I noticed on, like, if I go to certain places on my website, like, if I go to, like, the computer jokes, um, I noticed it will just lock up on this page. It will just completely lock up, and it won't do anything. So I have to X out of it, because it completely freezes. So, that's just, I don't know. But, you, also, you can notice, I mean, it kept all my stuff when I upgraded, which was kind of cool. However, Windows actually wasn't activated, but I found a way to activate it, because I heard Microsoft took down their activation servers at the moment because, um, because of the Windows 10 release happening tomorrow, I guess, or recent. So they took them down, but there was a way, supposedly, to activate it, which is what I did, so that way we should be good to go. Um, I think it's like using the same activation as they normally do. It's just a little different, and it makes it work. So it's kind of cool. It's because like you know, so that's the downside of doing this like with a clean install. I'm not sure if I would have upgraded to a build and then this if it would have actually um, 
stayed activated or not. But and you can also see is that the new notification center. See, it's lighting up like that because I have some new notifications I gotta check. So I'll just click over there. And I got my, my notifications for my programs. You see it says updates were installed. And then my real cloud has something. Um, so you can see all these toggles down here. Like for notifications and brightness and Wi-Fi and all the settings here. And airplane mode and quiet hours. Normally there's tablet mode but for some other reason. So I guess since it's not a tablet I can't do that setting. Um, some of the settings are grayed out. Um, but it's still okay. You can see we got the app store too. And I think to be honest, it's really cool. You could download a, some cool apps on here and just browse through. It's kind of, kind of neat, you know. And I've noticed, like, you could see, like, obviously I showed you Edge already. You notice the icons are different. Like, this PC, the icon's different. And let's see if I can make this longer, yeah. And you could see it's just it looks totally different and I have more see one thing I don't like over here is they should have music and videos over here I don't know if I can put it over there but let me see if I can um oh like that never mind um well that's good because that was one thing that was annoying me so I'm glad I got that figured out so now I can quickly just go to my things and be able to access my stuff because you notice the Windows Explorer does look different it looks way different, you know, which kind of different. I'm not sure if this recovery drive still has Windows 7 in it or not, actually. i um, not sure if it Windows 10 replaced the recovery drive or if it still kept 7 and if I used it, if it would go back to 7 or not. If you guys know, let me know because I'm kind of interested to know that. You notice the folders kind of look different, so kind of interesting. Um, and they still have, like, paint. See if paint's any different. Oh, it looks like the same. Looks like the I think yeah, it looks the same. I think they still have the magnifier and they still have the control panel. Believe it or not, still the full control panel. But I'm pretty sure if you go to a lot of the stuff, I mean, it's gonna be different. Yeah, you can see it's already looking a little bit different. Let's see if I go to here if it looks. Oh, they still have the, this regular action center, which they're not calling it that on here, but it basically is. But you can see it looks it looks a lot, really similar. Like they still have a control panel, and actually you can get to it by going here, going to um, all apps, and then going all the way down. I think it's like Win Windows Accessories. Um, actually, I think it's like Windows System, and you can still access like command prompt and stuff. And there's control panel and all this other stuff. And who would use Windows Defender? No offense, Windows Defender is not the best. Um, so you, I know you can see I sorted my categories, and I got it's even got Cortana, but I'm not sure if it would work because I got the screen recorder recording the audio, so I don't think I can do Cortana uh, right now since it's recording the audio. So, um, but yeah, you can even ask it jokes. Actually, let me see. Tell me a joke. Don't trust the atoms. They make up everything. <laughs> so it's see it tells you jokes and funny things and you can ask it questions and I think it's kinda cool. You know what I mean? It's kinda cool that you can do that. So anyways though, you can see all these cool features and you can see how you can do all this stuff. So it's kinda neat. You can see C Cleaner still works and everything. Like I can still I can run C Cleaner right now. Um, but for some odd reason, uh, it's not working right, but I'm just going to X out of that. So, yeah, I, I really like Windows 10. You notice they got rid of the sidebar, and I really liked the sidebar because I had a little slideshow of pictures, and I really liked that, and I don't know why they got rid of that. I also heard they got rid of Windows Media Center, and I know a lot of people were upset about that, and they got some new program to be able to play DVDs or something, like DVD player or something. I don't know what it's called. Um, supposedly, I think it's on here somewhere, but, yeah, so I, so I heard about that already, because people were pretty upset, see, Windows DVD player, that's what, instead of Media Center, that's the replacement of Media Center, you can see all these just really cool things in here, and 
to be honest, I, I really like it. They got rid of Movie Maker, because, I mean, this is older Movie Maker. They got rid of the newer Movie Maker in here. I'm not sure why. I think because this is still a preview um, until tomorrow when I update it. Because this is the RTM, but it's the first RTM. So there's going to be another final version tomorrow. And I think I might make a video of me doing that, if there is one. And also going to make a video on... Um, um, the new version that I get, if I get a newer version, I'm going to make a video of what it looks like and the differences between this one and that one. But so far, I mean, I like Windows 10. I think it's really nice. You know, all the cool stuff you can do on it. You can even have this file explorer here. It's the same thing. I just wish, like, see, you can even still go to Internet Explorer. I just wish this wasn't all white because it's kind of like blends in and I feel like it's not a good look. So if you guys know how to change that, which I don't think you can because this is like, you know, this is Windows 10. You know, it's just, this thing looks so like Windows 7 right there. I, I think that's part of TeamViewer down here because it, it does that. So anyways, though, I, I mean, I really like this so far. I think it's really cool. And I have this really funny message box thing. Um, we'll see if it, it doesn't run anymore. I don't know why. I guess maybe they got rid of it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, see, the message boxes look different on here. This is, like, an example of what some of them look like. And these are my funny ear messages um, that I made up. I'm just going to do this, guys. Can I? Yeah, I can. So, I made that, by the way. If you guys want to know how to make this, actually, I think I had a video a long time ago on how to do it, how to make a fake virus, and it's one of my older videos from, like, I don't know how long ago, I think the beginning of the year, like, 2014, um, but if you guys want to know how to do that, you know, find that video, or I might make a new video, because, you know, I have a screen recorder now, and I got it to work finally after two hours, just running it as administrator, just right-click and run as administrator, fix the problem, so... Wow, go figures. I've been trying uninstalling, reinstalling, and all this kinds of stuff, and going in app data and deleting it, and oh my gosh, so much stuff. You can see I still have Office, and let's see if actually it changed. It's the I heard you can get Office 2016 on here for free, I'm not sure, but I have 2010. Um, it looks the same, because I think it did look the same on the top before. Um... But or similar, it looks similar to that. Like it, I think Windows 8 might have looked like that. So it it's the same. But tell me about if you can get that 2016. I think you can. I think it's in here in the Start menu, um, somewhere. Get Office. But I already have it right here. So you guys let me know. Cause to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like the new Office because already Office 2013 confuses me. It really does. I'm not even used to it. It's so confusing. So as you guys know, as you said, if you ever, like, Internet Explorer is not gone from here. I'm, I believe it's in Windows Accessories. It is still here. So if you guys are wondering, but if you do an upgrade and have Internet Explorer on the desktop, you'll have it. So they didn't get rid of it entirely, but I bet in Windows 11 or 12 or whatever it's going to be, maybe they'll skip Windows 11 and go to 12, they're probably going to get rid of Internet Explorer. I'm not sure if it's going to get any more security updates or not right now, but... Um, you guys let me know if you know, but this is basically, you know, the new Windows 10 build, and I, I really think it looks really nice, like, I don't know why it says get Skype, I have Skype right here, so that's kind of strange, so, anyways, though, I mean, I like it, and one good thing, my antivirus didn't seem to have an issue with the upgrade, as it stayed fully intact, and still works, I didn't have to reinstall it, nothing, it just worked perfectly, Right, right after I installed it, you know, any viruses you probably have the most issues with when you um when you upgrade operating systems. Usually, you have to uninstall it and reinstall it. But I guess McAfee's pretty good about not having to do that. Maybe they updated it ahead of time for Windows 10. Um, but I know it's a it's a paid subscription, so it's a really good version of McAfee. I think it's the best one they have. And they still have, like, defrag, but they call it defragment and optimized drives. But I noticed, and it says optimized here, I think in... 8.1 and 8, Windows 8 and 8.1, I think they just called it optimized, but maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it did say that, I think it actually might have said that, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching, my screen recorder is running out of time, I only have a limit of 15 minutes on it since it's free, but it's probably the best one I've ever found, so, 
Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. And hope you guys enjoy Windows 10. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below and if you're going to upgrade or not. So, thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.